Epilepsy is a neurologic condition caused by electrical disturbances in the brain, causing seizures ranging in severity from hardly noticeable to the patient to totally disabling. Dr. Stephen Phillips of Children's Hospital of Orange County discusses epilepsy's causes, diagnosis, and the available treatments. Epilepsy is a disorder of the brain where there's really an abnormal spread of electrical energy that uh, can go into part of the brain or all the brain at one time. And that causes the body to do uncontrolled activity. Epilepsy comes in all types of forms, and it really depends upon what part of the brain's involved in this abnormal spread of electrical activity. It can be a simple event where they stare and their eyes blink, or maybe have a lip smacking. They can do some unusual movements of their arms and legs. Uh, other seizures are much more impressive. The eyes roll back in the head, and they foam at the mouth, and they get very stiff, and they jerk and shake like what's called a convulsion. The first step in curing or controlling epilepsy is to make sure you have it. And uh, studies have shown that up to 20 to 30 percent of children and adults who are referred to epilepsy centers, when they actually get there and they record their seizures on this long-term EEG with simultaneous video, they find that the events actually are not seizures. There's some other events that are treated differently. And it's a good start to achieving cure or control is to make sure that you do have it. The number of people who suffer from epilepsy is about 1 percent of the population. Uh, and about out of that category, 20 or 30 percent have uncontrolled seizures that are not being managed by the old conventional therapies. Currently, there's many treatment options available for epilepsy treatment. And they begin with older medications that have been around for years and have established track record and established uh, profile of side effects. Then there are several new uh, anti-epileptic agents to treat seizures. And as we learn more about them, they may become the dominant treatment uh, medically for uh, seizures. There are other options though. There is a special diet called the ketogenic diet which is uh, very very popular in some types of seizures, particularly in children. There's something called a vagal nerve stimulator which is a device that's implanted that produces a stimulation to one of the nerves in the neck that helps treat seizures. There also is in some patients the option of surgery which actually can remove the area of the brain that's causing the seizures and often if they're a good candidate they can be cured and have the best outlook for long-term seizure control. The prognosis for epilepsy is, is variable. Most of children that have the onset of epilepsy have a, a fairly good prognosis and may be on seizure medicines for a few years and then be able to outgrow it and actually not have recurrence in their adult life. But there is a fa fair number of them, over 20 percent, that will have uh, lifelong recurrent seizures unless some more aggressive therapy is given to them. In the same way in adults, uh, a lot of, the majority of patients with epilepsy are well controlled on a single medicine and do well, but there is still a fairly large amount that suffer from ongoing seizure activity. The future of epilepsy care is totally changing. It was gone from the idea in the past where the patient would have a seizure and you would try to get them on a medicine to contain those seizures and try to control them the best you can. The future thinking and research in epilepsy is curing it, taking away the reason in the brain that the seizures got there in the first place and to provide complete control if you can't take away the underlying cause. Something that's referred to as seizure freedom so that the patient will not suffer from even a risk or a a likelihood that there will be another seizure.